Hello everyone, this is part 3 of how to code for your girl type fan game. In this one, we're going to be looking at how void start works, um, so that we can use that in future videos. So, we're going to create a new c -sharp script, I'm going to name it Disable Maps on Start. Um, so, basically, we're going to be using, um, if you didn't watch the first and second tutorials on how to code, then I would recommend doing that, because this will help with that. Um, we're going to be using disable scripts for when um, on when the game is first played. It will um, when the game is first played. It will um, disable something. So we're going to give it a void update because we don't need that. And we, but we do need um, void start. As you can see, it says start is called for the first frame update. So that means um, right when the game is first played, it will. Um, it'll disable something. So we're also gonna be learning something new called a list variable like the last episode, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be teaching a new type of, it's gonna be called, a, it's gonna be like a list. So we're gonna do public game object and do these box brackets. Then we're gonna do, um, this is, we're disabling the max. So we're gonna put max right here and put a period. Um, we will get, oops. We will get um, game object. Um, we will get the game objects in maps. Basically, when the game is started, um, it'll take. So, what this this box does is it makes it like a list, so you can put multiple things inside. And this is the, basically the variable. So, when the game is started, or like when when the game is started, or when the game object is enabled, it will find the game objects that are in the default object. Alright, so it'll find the game objects in, in maps, so that, and then we're going to put more curly brackets on um, the object, but set active false just like that and it will basically find all of the game objects so it's like game object object in maps it basically renamed it kind of and put made it object so all of these will get disabled when um the game starts and if you want to look at it then um it renames it will just like disable all the maps like that um so and now it should work um where did i put that wait what the heck wait there we go because a list so basically multiple game objects just like that, and then we're gonna put a header because I love my headers. Um, so we're gonna do header. I'm gonna make it put or max to disable on start. So this can basically be used if you wanna like, um, if you wanna like have all of the maps enabled when you're um, like in Unity, but right when you play the game, it'll disable all the maps. But it'll only do it once because, yeah. Did it not save? I don't think it saved. I don't know what this is. Okay, that's weird. Um, here we go. It's gonna give me an error because I don't know why it's not. There we go. That's weird. Um. should be fixed now um so i'm gonna basically show you um an example of how to use this if you actually want to use this in your game so basically let's just say that this is like my forest map and i want to edit my zero gravity map my horror map my shop map and my beach map right so i'll name this shop 
and then this. I messed those up. I know I mixed those up, but um, um lava run. I don't know. And horror. Actually, I think this one's supposed to be zero G. Okay, and then this will be my horse now, or not my spawn. So I want to have my spawn enabled when I first start the game, but I don't want to have all those enabled. So I'm gonna create an empty. I'm gonna make it like tutorial manager like that, um, because I want to make it. Um, yeah, um, disable. Okay, so as you can see, it's a list so that we can find all of these game objects. So we're going to put all of our maps that we don't want to have enabled. So we're going to press this lock button up here so that we can click all these and we're just going to drag them in here. So in that way, um, it will just say, like, right when we start, so we can edit them in Unity, but right when we start the game, we don't have to worry about disabling them before the build. Um, it just automatically disables them all. But um, you can still re-enable them if you want to. So it's kind of useful if you want to use it. But it's basically just for the tutorial, so that you can. Um, I'll be doing another one of these soon. Um, like and subscribe. Tell me any suggestions you want in the Discord. If you have any trouble with anything, also join the Discord or comment. Um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.